Today, my friends, you're in for a treat because I'm giving you 20 yards. You heard it right, 20 yards off the tee without even changing your swing with one simple tip. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And other than how do I fix my slice, Todd, probably the most common question we get here at US Golf TV, Nick and Jordy and JT and the whole team here is, I want more distance. I'm an older golfer. I'm an experienced golfer. We love you experienced golfers out there. You know who you are. We love you out there. We're here to help you play better golf. And they want more distance. Now, there are a lot of ways that we could talk about. We've got a ton of videos on how to create more club head speed and, and loading and unloading and, and all the core concepts, the three power sources. We talk specifically about the three power sources in the book, The Bad Lie, part of our vertical line swing coaching system. But let me be honest with you. Ready for some cold water in your face? The easiest way to get more distance is just hit the dang ball in the center of the face. Quit trying to swing harder hit the ball in the center of the face. So the natural question is, great, Todd, thanks. Makes sense, how the heck do I do that? Well, let me give you a tip to show you how to do that. Now, first thing is I've got my Maxvert driver here, the first club ever designed, that I'm aware of anyhow, specifically between a golf instructor myself and a world-class club designer, and it's designed specifically for the experienced golfer. It's got some wonderful features, but one of my favorite features that's on here, right here, this right here, it's called the Hex Flex. Okay, so let me hit a shot and let's talk about that. And let me give you a tip. If you don't have the Maxvert driver, that's okay. This tip's gonna work for you as well too. But let's go ahead and just set it down there. I got the driver, the Maxvert set right down there. I'm gonna take the Hex Flex and I'm gonna center it up with the ball right there. Let's go ahead and hit it. Woo! That was hot, right off the face. Now, here's the thing. When we hit golf shots on the toe, when we hit golf shots on the heel, they go all over the place. But when you hit the ball in the center of the face, it just goes a lot further down the fairway, right? So the question becomes for a lot of drivers is, where is that center of the face? Some people tell me, well, it's kind of up towards the top, it's hotter. Some say over here, whatever. But with the Hex Flex, it's literally right there. That's where I want it to be. So here's what I want you to do next time you head to the golf course. Let's go ahead and tee up another one. And this one I'm gonna actually tee up a little bit higher, okay? And if you haven't done this already, hey, so be sure to subscribe to our channel here at US Golf TV. Be sure to ring the bell. You know our favorite thing, here it comes. You already know where I'm going with this one. Leave a comment where you're from. We love hearing where you're from, how old you are, and what you want us to cover because US Golf TV is here for you. This is where you come to to help you play better golf. If you want simple things, easy to understand, but tips that really help you play better golf, this is the place for you. So this tip right here, I didn't talk to Mr. Nicholas. I love to say that I did, but I didn't talk to him. I just watched him. He was my hero in terms of golf. Like when I, when I watched golf, my, my favorite tournament to watch, I remember as a kid was the 1986 Masters. How many of you out there remember that? The bear is back. Jack Nicholas won the 86 Masters. That's when I fell in love with golf. I don't know about you when you really fell in love with golf, but what we notice about Mr. Nicholas and also Greg Norman did this, is when they hit their driver, they slightly hovered the club off the ground, right? So let me go ahead and show it to you. This is a wonderful, simple, easy way. So I'm gonna put my Maxvert down there and I'm gonna just hover it a little bit off the ground because the ball's teed up nice and high and I'm just taking the hex flex and I'm putting the hex flex right in line with the ball. So what is that doing for me? A couple things. Number one is when the club is slightly elevated, you're actually holding the club in your hands. You're bearing the weight of the club. When this club sits on the ground, the ground is, in essence, bearing the weight. Okay, why is that important? Well, when I'm holding the club and I have the weight in my hands, that helps my takeaway, it helps my transition. Okay, does that make sense? Let's go ahead and hit one, and then I'm gonna give you a tip here for those of you who slice the golf ball. Okay, if you slice a golf ball, I got a good one coming for you. So here we go. I'm gonna set up, put the max vert down there. I got it teed up so about half the ball is above the top of the club head. We've talked about that in our other videos. It's part of our coaching system. I'm gonna take the hex flex and just kind of hover it. So that's where I know. I want that hex flex to return right to the back side of the ball. I'm gonna, I'm hovering it like the great Jack Nicholas. Ooh. <laughs> I caught it just a tad on the toe. 
but man, that thing was hot. Okay, now let's tee up another one because I got a tip for those of you who slice. All right, here we go. This is one of the reasons when we designed this golf club, Josh, our main man Josh and Nick and the whole team, these guys, these are smart people. These are smart people who are helping us, helping you play better golf. With the hex flex here, so here's what you can do. If you slice a golf ball, a lot of golfers, when they take their traditional driver away, they tend to rotate it open because the club is longer and it's set at a, at a more shallow shaft angle. That's why we made the max vert a little bit shorter and a little more vertical shaft angle, which is a completely different topic we'll talk about down the road. But the hex flex not only helps us with setting up and hovering, but on the takeaway, what I want you to feel, okay, is I want you to feel like the hex flex stays looking at the ball. Okay, let me do it from down the line. So when I take the hex flex right here and I keep it looking at the ball, see what happens to the club face? If I take the hex flex and I rotate it towards the sky, what happens? Face rotates open, right? So let's tie this together. Here we go. Set up. I got the hex flex hovering right behind the ball. I'm gonna give it a little rehearsal. Hex flex stays looking at the ball. There's the feel. Oh yeah, love it. Hitting the ball a long ways. Yeah, it's about club head speed. I don't know a lot of you or myself who are ganging club head speed these days, but I can tell you this, if you hit the ball in the center of the face, it's definitely gonna go a little further.